what's going on everybody it's your boy nothing but skills the first thing you guys might want to do is take a screenshot of this map and then we'll get right into the video so what I'm gonna be showing you guys is a quick 25 minute run it hits 14 bosses gives you a chance to drop in exotics and classify gear the first place we're gonna go to is the safe house Autumn's Hope the safe house is located in the northwest corner of your map as soon as you get there you're gonna take a right take a right and take another left and then the boss is gonna be right in front of you this is bullet king kill the NPCs around him take him out collect the loot and then we'll be headed to the next safe house remember guys the good thing about killing these bosses is you can actually do it with any build I'm running a five-piece sentry with the one-piece deadeye because I can't find my sentry call gloves so I should be running a six-piece the next safe house we're gonna be going to is wolf's den and we're gonna be headed out you're gonna go down this ladder and then you're gonna cut through these four buildings right here as soon as you pass the final fourth building on your left you're gonna take a right onto this main road most of the time you're gonna run into some NPCs right in front of you just kill them real quick so they're not chasing you from behind and then continue on down the road as you get to the basketball courts you're gonna see your next boss Sereno he's a big flame turret guy kill him drop the NPCs and then the next boss is just around the corner so like I was saying guys this is a perfect run to do it should take you no more than 25 minutes um, clear out all the NPCs clear out the bosses and then fast travel to each point to head to the next boss we're gonna just continue down this pathway take it right onto the main road and then your next boss is gonna be down on the train tracks so we're gonna have to go down some stairs but he's going to be right in front of us. This boss is called Strings. If you have a sniper, you can kill everybody from up here. Go down there, collect your loot, and then we're going to be fast traveling to the next safe house. So this whole video is fast forwarded so that it wouldn't be 25 minutes of your time. That way you can just see me killing all the NPCs, killing all the bosses, fast traveling, and kind of give you an idea of where these bosses are. And then that's what you have your map for. You can also use the map at the same time. The next safe house we're going to be going to is just south of us. It's Kerman Station, and we're going to be looking for Erskine. So once we get to the safe house, you're going to run up these stairs, do a little U-turn, go straight ahead, climb these boxes, go over this building, and then go all the way down to you run into some buses and on the other side of the buses is you're gonna find your next boss with two guys with him so as you see the, the boss is right here kill the guys around them there was actually more than just two guys there's some guys down the street that I aggroed so I'll kill those guys once I kill them I'll pick up the stuff and then continue on so the next eight files we're gonna to travel to is the cavern we're going after the boss the fumes and he's gonna be underground in the subway so we're gonna go up this ladder right here go up one more ladder take a right and then you're not gonna go up another ladder you're gonna take a left before you get to the ladder so you see the ladder in front of you take a left keep cutting through here to make the boss spawn you need to kill two NPCs and then go across the tracks and the boss should spawn on your right hand side and then you can kill everybody and then we'll fast travel to the next location on this run you always have a chance of getting an exotic classified gear usually I get one of each or just one per run hopefully I get something on this run but you know there's always a chance you don't because the drop rate is 0.3 percent for each classified and exotic piece so the next safe house we're gonna travel to is Madden sorry it's not a safe house we travel to the Mission Port Madison Field Hospital and then once we get there we just go straight south and there's going to be two bosses down here, Frey and 5-0. The first boss we're going to fight is Frey. And then 5-0 is in between two buildings. Just 
kill everybody around them, pick up your loot, and then once you get everything they drop, just keep running. You're going to jump over this gate, and straight ahead of you, you're going to see two buildings that there's an opening. Jump over this little gate right here, keep going to your left, you're going to find your boss with like four enemies. So as you can see, it's not really hard to kill either one of the bosses, the NPCs. The next boss is going to be located just south of the Napalm site. As you continue south, you'll have some NPCs. You can kill them. You can run by them. I'm going to choose to kill the ones that are closest to the boss real quick. And then the boss is going to be just south. Kill the NPCs around them, kill the boss. For the next boss, there is no checkpoint to fast travel to, so this one's where it's going to be a little bit of running. You're going to run east and then just keep running down this road. So it's a little bit ways down. If you have a map, you can put a little checkpoint. As soon as you get to this truck right here, and that police car, you're going to take a right. You see another truck in front of you. Keep going down. Then you're going to take a left. And once you get to the fire station, you're going to cut through the fire station. You're going to take a left onto the road once you come out of the fire station. And then once you get to the next main road, you're going to take a right. And it's all the way down until you get to the next main road and you take a left. Down here we're going to be fighting Riot. He's usually with like 10 NPCs so you just got to kill everybody before you can pick up your stuff. I usually like doing this run every two hours if I get a chance. So if I'm playing with a couple players and I get off I try to do it before I start playing with the group because I know if I get off the next time I come on I should be able to do it again. It's a simple run to do like sometimes you don't have time to do a, a full mission. So the next safe house we're going to go to is the ward. Once you get into the ward you're going to come out, take a left and then you're going to take your next left. The good thing for this boss the easy way to remember is just stay hugging the building all the way down keep going and if you're on the right path you're going to see a basketball court on your right go up these stairs the boss is going to be to your left hand side and this is going to be chains he's a heavy gunner so be careful he will drop you if you get too close if you don't take cover so once you drop him just keep dropping the NPCs around him and then the next boss is just down the street so we're going to turn around Keep going straight. You're going to take a right and go down these stairs right here. And to help me guide my way, I'm just going to put a little checkpoint so I know I'm on the right path. But this boss is pretty easy to get to. He's right off the main road. The boss we're going to be going for is Copa Wright. So the boss is going to be right in front of us. off the bosses and then fast travel the next boss we can actually fast travel to a checkpoint and he is right outside the checkpoint so the checkpoint we're going to be going to is the DZ it's going to be East 31st Street what you need to do is come out of not the DZ side come out of the free world side keep running down and he's just straight ahead of you and this is Sergeant Lewis he's also another heavy gunner so just take a little bit of cover when you're fighting him 
and then we only have three more bosses to get to and our run is almost over so you can see how fast you can actually do this run if you go in there with a different build i was sniping so it might have taken me a little bit longer just because i missed a couple shots but all builds actually work with this run do it by yourself really simple to do shouldn't take you more than 25 minutes once you get it down and you won't even have to look at your map anymore if you do it a couple times you can do this run every two hours so the next place we're going to go to is a mission and the mission is going to be i forget the name yeah queen tunnels as soon as you get there you're going to run straight through like if you're going to start the mission but just stay hugging the left side so you don't aggro any npcs and the boss is going to be right ahead of you with two different groups so you could kill the first group and then the second group should have the boss and his corporal doorsman and then we just have two more bosses to the north but we can actually fast travel to those two so one question i want to ask you guys if you guys made it this far in the video is let me know what kind of builds you guys want me to make in the future let me know what kind of videos you guys want to make me in the future if you're new to my channel thanks for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button drop a comment down below the next safe house we're going to run to is the firehouse once we get here we're just going to leave just go straight north and sergeant Jax is going to be there with a crew of i want to say 15 guys kill them all kill him pick up your loot and then we just have apollo left to the north but that one we can just run it takes us about 30 seconds to get there so so once we get to the boss right here as you can see he has a shield he's one of the harder guys to kill because he does have the shield kill everybody else It's not looking too good guys. I haven't received any exotic, any classified piece. So I wanted to make this video where I did get a, a drop. Maybe I'll add it on to the end so you guys can see that I actually get a classified piece from this run. And I can do it one more time before I post the video. If not, just take my word for it guys. It's a good run to do. It's real simple. You don't have to waste an hour on one of those legendary missions hoping you get a drop and you get so many bosses that you have a better chance of getting a good item and as you notice in the DZ people do steal your stuff so yes you can get some good stuff from the DZ but a lot of times once you get it someone's gonna come jack it if you're running by yourself you're gonna get ganked so this is the easy way to get some good classified gear get some good exotics so I'm gonna make a little checkpoint of where I want to go it's pretty simple you just run down this street right here and then you're gonna take a right and then the boss is gonna be right in front of you this is Apollo this is our final boss so I hope you guys enjoyed the video guys make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and remember what I told you before if there's any videos you guys want to make me if there and remember guys if there's any videos you want me to make in the future let me know I'll try to put those out as soon as I can I just want to thank you guys again. My channel has been growing crazy the last couple days. My views have gone up to almost 4,048 hours, which is crazy. I don't even know what it is. I don't know if just more people are watching my videos, if I'm putting them out a little bit better content. But I'm glad for all your support, guys. Nothing but skills here to help you guys. And remember, if you guys have any questions on your builds, if you have any questions on anything in general, that's what you have the comment section. Use it. If you like this video, hit like. If it's helpful to you guys, hit like. And thanks, guys. I appreciate all the support. Nothing but skills out.